Hello all loonies and normals, my name is Joe Silva, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about game logic. Now, let's be honest, we all know that when you talk about game logic, you're talking about the lack of logic in games. And isn't it true? The games that we play, they're very rarely logical. They very rarely make any sense. Take for example... Astroneer. Now, in case you haven't seen Astroneer, it's a new game on Steam, it's still early access, and basically people have described it as being like No Man's Sky but better. Well, I've seen gameplay of it, I haven't actually played it myself, but I've seen gameplay of it online where people have been streaming it, and I can tell you that it is similar to No Man's Sky, you do go around planets collecting resources and so on. It's a little more cartoony and that but it's a good game I, I would honestly play it but the game logic in that makes no sense at all you're a spaceman who's you know you've gone to space and you're in the full the full get up the full space suit with, complete with fit, goldfish bowl on your head and as you're collecting resources there's particular plants on the planet spews out horrible nasty gases poisonous gases <laughs> now those can kill you mm, yeah let me think about that those can kill you uh, you're in a full spacesuit <laughs> with the fork complete with goldfish bowl you're certainly not breathing the air around you you're breathing through tethers which are like tubes that you keep putting on putting down as you go further and further from where you you landed and so basically they kill you yeah I'm sorry but if you've got the money to go to space and make the space suit and make the equipment that you're using on this game you've got the money to make uh, make a space suit that stops you from breathing in toxic gases now somebody said to me, oh they're acidic, but again, if you've got the space, the money to do all that, you've got the money to deal with this acidic stuff, trust me. It, it makes no logical sense whatsoever. However, this is game logic, and like I said, I'm not putting the game down. I would certainly play it if I thought my system could handle it. I, I like the game, I'm just saying game logic. They, it makes no sense. I mean, like most RPGs and Zelda games and other games like that. Unpoint and clicks even, to some degree. Right, you need, you need item A. So you're going to go through five levels, five, you know, five warlords, five wizards, a dozen warlocks, a few, a few dragons etc etc to get this item you're going to go through basically things that will kill you about three or four times to get this item you take it all the way back to the uh, person who's asked you to get this item and they say well you've got this now can you go and get me and you want item B <laughs> so then you have to go through all that again and you have to go through um, several more flipping that uh, atrocious things happening to you to get item B which happens by the way to be not very far away from where item A was so they could have told you to get that while you're there <laughs> it's game logic it makes no sense and I mean I heard about one game and I can't remember what it was and I, I think it was a point and click where they said you need gold so to get it you don't go to a gold store and buy gold from them you go. You do the most ridiculous things. You most ridiculous thing you can, involving I think it was an octopus and some other weird uh, stuff in like a dunny. I think it is uh, a toilet um, to get a gold belt buckle. It's I can't remember the game, and I, it, to be honest with you, I don't think it's one I personally played. But let's just say it is weird, and it makes no logical sense. This is what I'm saying. These games, they don't, they don't think these through. They make, 
the most ridiculous <laughs> decisions. Yeah. Hmm. You need gold. Steal some from a gold seller. You know, distract him. Tell him to go, look, there's something happening over there and while he's not looking pinhead. Or, better yet, do a job or two, earn money, buy it, and take it back to the person who wants it. No, that's too easy. We'll make it completely insane. <laughs> Why? I mean, the point and clicks, you do have to go through some ridiculous stuff. I mean, the worst ones are the Zelda games. I have honestly, can honestly say that I have played two, three or four of the Zelda games, maybe, I'm not sure, but I've certainly, I've certainly played more than one of the Zelda games, but I've only ever completed one, and that was Twilight Princess, because on the Twilight Princess, I think they did make that slightly easier, and things more logical, and you did actually make it through a lot easier, and so on, but most Zelda games are what I call walkthrough difficult. That is, if you don't have a walkthrough, you don't beat it. Okay, some of you are going to say, but I beat this game without a walkthrough. And good for you. you. You've obviously got more brains than I have. Not difficult, I know. But you obviously have. But for me, the Zelda games are walkthrough difficult. As in, you... They sub... For some reason, they looked at this game and went, yeah, it's difficult, but not difficult enough. Let's make it harder. And it's like, okay. The thing is, I mean, like I said, I know this sounds just like I'm having a go at games because I can't beat them. And it's not that. Like I said, I like, this, I like to the Zelda games. The principle behind them, I love that, although, honestly, that's another case of game logic. This game is going to have Link as its hero, so we're going to call it Zelda. Now, I had a discussion with this about a streamer I was watching, and he said, well, that's because you're always saving Princess Zelda. By that logic, the Mario game should be called Peach, Super Peach, and... and etc etc because I swear you are always saving Peach in those games except that football one where Mar the people from Mario World were all playing football that got a bit weird and Peach was one on one of the teams and like the Mario Party games well in that case you, you're not saving Peach again it, you're playing as all the Mario characters so like there are a couple of games where you're not actually saving Peach but for all intents and purposes, pretty much every game revolves around you saving Peach. Even, even Super Mario Maker, yeah? When you do the 100 man on that, you're saving Peach. So it's like, by that, by that law, the game should be called Peach, not Mario. The same here, Zelda was called... Zelda, but Zelda, Princess Zelda very rarely appears in the game and to my knowledge we have yet to play as Zelda as a character. Now I might be wrong on that because I haven't played every Zelda game so if there's one out there where you do please feel free to comment on that in the in the um, comment section. But my point is game logic, this game is going to be, have Link is its hero, so we're going to call it Zelda. Yeah, okay. Um, like I said, now this is not just a this vlog isn't just a moaning session. I'm going to be honest that these games I've mentioned, every one of them so far, I have loved. I, I like the Mario games. I like Astroneer and would play it. I like. I like um, the. Zelda games, and I have played several of them. I haven't, I've yet to beat anything other than Twilight Princess, but I have played them. So this is not just a big moaning session. This is just my opinions, my vlog on what, you know, on what 
basically amounts to the fact that game logic makes no logical sense. I'm sure you've got plenty of uh, examples yourself. Anyway, I have rambled enough. So, if you have actually enjoyed this, con this content, me rambling on, then please leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment down below because, you know, that helps me to improve and to know what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right and so on so that I, my vlogs can get better because honestly I want to keep going to, you know, because of the support of you guys. So please leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.